Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with a brand new series on Cortex Command. This time around, however, we're going to be playing something a little bit different. Rather than playing another campaign, we are going to be playing Void Wanderers. And so what Void Wanderers is, is essentially it's a... It's an RPG version of Cortex Command, is probably the best way to describe it. So, rather than fighting several battles through a campaign on a single map. You're basically in a spaceship and you travel around, land on planets, collect gold, fight battles, and everything that you pick up you get to keep and you bring it back to your ship with you. So it's it's pretty cool. I really like the idea. Um, I played it briefly just to kind of familiarize myself with the uh, mechanics and the controls. So I'm still a noob, but I'm not completely blind going in here. Um, I got wrecked pretty bad though, I will warn you guys, I got I got owned, so um, my expectations are not extremely high for this, uh, I mean they are as far as, you know, enjoyment, but as far as me succeeding, they aren't very high. Um, so before I talk too long, let's just go ahead and dive right in. And now you guys are probably as familiar or more familiar with this than I am, so definitely feel free to throw me some suggestions in here, because again, I am almost completely blind going into this. I just kind of familiarized myself with it briefly. Alright, so we're going to start a new game. Um, I'm going to play as the brown coats because I really like the brown coats. And I could probably use all the tankiness I can get. Um, and then we'll just do one of each. So we'll have one of every faction and then if we decide to do another playthrough of this, I will add in the two uh, available modded factions but uh, for now we're just gonna stick with the vanilla ones I do I did add some modded uh, maps though okay and here's our ship so there are little things like little nodes around this screen that you can select with you know holding down the E key or you can press Q and E to toggle between them so the first one right here is basically navigation and so this will allow you to fly between the different locations in sort of like the area that you're in so we're at the trade star so there's two different piers we can dock at if we press the you know movement to the right we can look at um, other planets so we've got these planets here that we can jump to and then we've got missions that are available and so we can choose to join those and it'll take us to wherever that um, mission is taking place. For example, this first one is uh, at the Metankoro Kora Highlands. And we're basically fighting the Ronin and if we succeed, we get 100 reputation with the brown coats. Um, we'll probably be working with the brown coats because we are the brown coats. So, um, as you can see, our reputation with them is the highest just from starting out as them, so we should probably you know, take that and run with it. We could choose to work with the Coalition, and well, it looks like we could have chose to work with the Ronin, but because of the way it shook out, uh, we'll probably end up fighting them and getting some negative rep. The other ones hate us, so probably not a good idea to try to buddy up to them. But yeah, anyways, that's where most of your... Uh, gameplay is going to be going on other than the actual combat over here this is the like item shop this is only available when you're at the trade star you can buy guns grenades blah 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 um, and then I think this just gives you more information oh no it just toggles the different types of so pistols rifles shotguns okay and then if we go over here we've got the basically the unit purchasing or you know the cloning facility or what have you um, so we can buy brown coats we can buy gatling turrets medic drones and small machine gun turrets right now our uh, clone storage is full so probably won't mess with that just yet um, so in here got our actual brain if we press the down movement key, so S in my case, um, you can detach him and jump around the ship. Um, but you don't need to detach him to do 
really anything other than bring him along for combat if you so choose. He will level up if you bring him, but he could potentially die if you bring him. And if he dies, game over. It, it's permadeath, so brain dies, you lose. Um, clone storage, so you can see we've got four light brown coats here. Each one has a AR-25 hammer fist, an HG-10 stinger, and a light digger. Um, and then we also have four of each of those in our cargo hold as well. Um, so that's that menu is not changing because they all have the same equipment. But they're four, four brown coats, and then we can sell them here if we like, but I won't be doing that. Now down here is your deployment zone. You need to have your troops standing down here and then you select this. So whoever's standing down here when you choose to deploy will go with you. Um, whether or not you want to bring the brain is up to you, but again, he will level up if you do. And then over here is your cargo hold. So this just shows that we've got four of each of those sitting you know, in the hold. Um, so let's look at that mission because that's probably a good place to start. It said the security was minimum so hopefully we can handle that. Let's go ahead and choose it. It looks like we're going to fly to that location. Um, looks like we made it low. What is is minimum more than low or less than low? I, I imagine it's less than low. Um, so we should probably go there first. It looks like gold is present in all of these. That's where our mission is. So maybe we should do that one first because it also says minimum. And then um, we might be able to get some gold from there as well. So let's choose that location. Um, let's see. So we're already there. Okay. Then we will go over here. I don't think we're going to bring our brain. Actually, we'll bring him for this one. So let's have him come down here. Because the security is minimum, I think it'll be safe. But we'll see. I might lose right away, and then we'll start a new one. Um, but let's go get him some gear from the cargo hold. And then we'll uh, deploy all our clones. And hopefully we can beat these Ronin. Because I am only playing on medium difficulty, but again, I was playing on medium difficulty my first time around and got absolutely wrecked, so we'll just take one of each. And then let's deploy you guys. And we'll have them form a squad. Actually, this way will be quicker. Okay. So we got to be very careful because again, if he dies, we lose. So I will probably be controlling him myself the entire time. And let's go ahead and deploy. All right. So we want to select him. We'll reform our squad and we need to find these Ronin before they find us. Now you can, you know, give your brain a better digging tool and just have him gold dig while you fight and play this like a normal battle, but I like to grab as much gear with my brain as I can because anything you recover you get to keep. And I don't know if that holds true for uh, your standard units as well. Okay, so he's down. Uh, what a Glock. I don't need that. But I took some damage there already. Hopefully there's not too many of these guys. Okay, so we got them done. Oh, that was it. Okay. So that was pretty easy. Let's grab as much gear as we can. Got an AK-47. A peacemaker, whatever that is. 
and another AK. So we're probably going to have our time flying right now, yeah. Actually, no, we can get up a little bit. Um, how does our digger fare against this dirt? Because we might want to grab some gold while we're here. And there's a couple of gold nuggets, like, right there. I don't know if we have to actually make it back to that zone to, uh, get back on our ship or if we can just, you know, go from anywhere. Because it might be worth just digging down grabbing as much gold as we can. So how does this work? He doesn't seem to be uh, actually getting anything. Maybe it takes it back to the ship, I'm not entirely sure. Let's put him on gold dig and see what he does. Nothing, okay. Well, in that case, we'll grab a couple more gold nugget nuggets, and I, I assume it's sending it back to the ship, because you can tell it is doing something. It's just not filling my funds at all. Maybe because combat is over, it's sending it all back. And he's going to dig with a gun. That's, that's an interesting way to do it. So we'll dig all that up. And there's a lot of gold down here, but I think my light digger is going to run into trouble as we get deeper here. Some of this, yeah, it doesn't want to dig through this harder packed dirt. So I don't know if we'll be able to get to any of that. Now I don't know how base building works in this. I imagine you can build bases, but I haven't tried. But it would be cool to set up some, you know, mining operations on some planets, especially ones like this that are pretty rich in gold. But again, I don't know how that works, so you guys might have to help me out with that. Um, now, where is this thing? Let's go ahead and go back. Oh, so it's all going right here. Okay. There we go. All right, so mission report. 2500 gold, 12 XP, plus 100 rep with the brown coats, minus 165 with the Ronin, and two items collected. I feel like we should have gotten more than that. But okay. Um, let's have the brain dock back in. Actually, did it pick up the two off the ground? If it's going to work like that, I should probably just leave them. Because he doesn't need all this junk. And I don't know how to transfer it back. Actually, what happens if I just drop it? Let's see. Drop. Okay, so it gets stored automatically. That's really cool, actually. So we'll drop all of these. Now, I should probably see if the AK is better than the Hammer Fist. Because if it is, it would be worth taking the AKs instead. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Alright, and then you guys need to get back into your storage pod. Okay, so he's stored. I guess I have to do it individually. Well, not necessarily, but it'd be a lot easier. Now, I would like to improve... Oh, okay, that's interesting. Good to know. No, I want you. Really good to know. That makes things a lot easier. Okay, so everybody's stored where they need to be. Let's go back here. And where do we want to head from here? Let's see. We have a mission to assassinate some Imperatus troops or brain or what have you. That might be worth doing.
because I think the Imperatives already hate us. Uh, I guess we can check right now, can't we? Um, let's see. Yeah, I mean, they already hate us, so there's really no reason to worry about crossing them. Let's see. We can level up our brain here, but I don't think we got enough to do it. Yeah, it's still saying zero. I'll probably start with toughness first, just to make him a little bit more survivable. And then uh, force field would probably be a good idea too. But yeah, so let's do another mission. We've got time. So we can mess with the Techion there. Or the Imperatus there. They both hate us, so I really don't have any issues attacking either. Although this has moderate security. This has minimum, so we should probably do that first. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We'll travel over there. Hopefully we don't get intercepted in space. Looks like we didn't. So that's good. I think we'll bring the brain again. Because again, I would like to level him up. Make him a little bit more survivable. Because I think that would work out well. I mean, you never technically have to bring your brain at all, but I feel like since the brain is the only character you can get who has any special abilities, at least as far as I know, it's obviously beneficial for you to uh, level him up. I don't know that they'll be able to do that. Yeah, they're not smart enough. Yeah, they're all going to get stuck up here. Or are they? No, they're coming. They just like to use their digging tools a lot for some reason. Come on, you guys can do it. No, you're ruining the ship. Okay. My first advice to anybody playing this is do not squat up inside the ship. Apparently that just causes problems. And now we need new floors on the upper deck. Okay. Let's go ahead and deploy. Now we'll grab the brain again, form a squad. And it looks like there's only one, or only one that we need to kill. There may be more, I mean, for all I know there is, but only one of them's a target. Uh oh. Okay, we got him. Now, I'm going to grab these just in case. Because I don't know how that mechanic works just yet. I should probably look in the cargo hold, and if we have a Glock, then we know that we picked up everything on the ground. But since I don't know for sure this time, I'm just going to grab them to be safe. That bullpup is actually a really good gun. So... Let's see, is this a digger? Yeah, let's see what's in that crate. Oh, oh, we got a, a guy. We got a guy. Don't know what he does, but we'll have him join us. And I can't tell, is he like a robot skeleton or is he from the Techions? I think he's a Techion. And I'm too heavy to move, so we should probably just head back to the ship. But now we have a heavy digger, so we can actually deploy... Oh, I kind of want to go get those, whatever those are down there. Let's see, I have a heavy digger. That's the bullpup. Something else. That's the heavy digger. So let's get down here and see what these are, and then we'll head back. I think we'll have time for one more mission, although I don't think we have a mission currently that we can handle. I mean, maybe if I play more carefully, but as, as you saw there, I'm not very uh, subtle in my tactics in this, at least not yet. Oh, I just destroyed whatever it, the drop was. Whoops. Let's probably be a little bit more careful. Again, subtlety, not my strength. 
I don't know what these are. The other one looked like it dropped something. I thought I saw like a name briefly before my digger ate it. Yeah, this particular place... Assault rifle, okay. Doesn't have the best distribution of gold. At least compared to the previous place we were. Oh no, don't kill it. Ah, I killed it. Oh well. Killed the assault rifle. Let's get out of here before I accidentally get my brain killed. Three, two, one. And we're back. Uh oh. Okay, so we got 3,000 gold, plus 80 coalition rep, minus 132 imperatus rep. So we are working for the coalition, the coalition at least a little bit. Um, I'm not sure what that alarm is. It generally means, oh, we have to store or dump a body. Okay, so we need to get you guys in storage quick before you die. Yeah, they're all dying. Go, 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 go. Okay, so we're good now. We're going to store all these guys again. I don't know what to do with the extra guy we picked up. I mean, he can just, like, help us out on our ship, I guess. Because I don't think he'll be as durable as the brown coats since very, very few... Hey, stay up there. Okay, get him in that spot. And then kind of boost him over there. There. So what to do with this guy? He doesn't have any weapons, although we can fix that. But yeah, I'm not entirely sure what to do with him. We can't store him. Hmm. We can dump him, but I feel like that's a waste. I don't know, we're getting pretty close to the end of the episode, so I think I'll just keep him up in the navigation bay, and you guys can let me know what I should do with him. So I'll just leave him over here with the brain. I should probably give him a gun or something if he's going to be walking around. But yeah, we'll leave him over here. And then let's get the brain docked. And I think that's where we'll end it, because... Actually, let's get him docked and see if he has any level ups first. But yeah, we're getting to right around the 25 minute mark. All right. So what do we got here? Oh, actually, before I do that, I need to drop all this. We'll drop the light digger. We'll keep the heavy one on him. Let's not drop them out into space, though. Oh, he caught it. Nice. Okay, we're going to have to face the other way then. I should probably give my uh, brown coats those guns because they're a little bit better than the hammer fist. And the brain will keep the digging tool. Okay, so where is our brain at? Here we go. 90 XP. I... I'm going to assume you need 100 to get a point. We still have zero points. Um, so one more mission should hopefully do it. But I'll probably focus on these two first. Just to make him a little bit more tough before we start, you know, doing a little bit more risky missions. Oh, that actually needs two points, though. Okay. Interesting. Self-healing, that's that's nice. Um, fix weapons, blah, 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 okay. Either way, we don't have enough to level up. So I guess that's where we will end it for now. Again, don't forget to tell me what to do with this guy because I honestly have no clue. He's got a bullpup on him. I should probably get rid of that because the brown coats will need it more. Um... And then I imagine there's ways to upgrade the ship too, but I don't know how, so please feel free to, you know, tell me.
because our life support can only sustain five right now and we have six. So every time these guys come out of storage, we're going to be in trouble. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for today. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Please feel free to share my videos however you guys see fit. And don't forget to throw me some suggestions in the comments because, again, I'm a noob at this. And I will see you guys back here for part two of our Cortex Command Void Wanderers Let's Play.